Hashtag boss lady. Um, I'm not here for long. I'm just going to be brief. Um, I met Jeba in 2010 at a place called Red Oaks in Mafiking. It was the first time actually sharing the stage together. And I remember after my performance, he came to me. And that's where the title Motoko's First Lady came from. He was like, where now? Or Motoko's first lady. And I took that and I ran with it till today. I'm still Motoko's first lady. So for that, I will always be grateful. And speaking as Las Bono, ya it, it, it really, you know, puts a lot of questions in my mind. And every time I need advice, I know I could call Jeba. I know that I can call Todi. I know I can call Dukes. And I remember um, one thing that I will always remember is that we made an event with Jeba and at the end of 2016 and he came to me and he was like, and then we went outside and he was so angry at me and I thought, what did I do wrong? But that was because he had told me before um, about signing and whatnot and whatnot and that's at the time I was signed and I could see he was angry because he gave me the advice Jorge, you need to be ready you need to always tell us whatever move that you make because you represent where we come from as Motuamo Saadi and that's when I realized I was like you know what actually Jabba is one person who you know, he's one artist that would put people on. Even in like previous albums, he had upcoming artists that nobody knew and he would still proudly introduce them to the country. That's, much, that's how much he believed in, you know, talent and hip hop as a whole, whether motocolista or you just rap in English. And for that, I will just, you know, keep that, whatever advice that he gave to me, I will keep it in my heart and run with it, just like I've been doing. And to the family, the friends, the fans, Motoko Nation, what I would say is that Jeva, Jeva gave us a lot. He gave us classics. And for me, coming from Mouth Town, he, he, he's one of the first few people that made me believe that it is possible to make it in the hood and come to the big city of gold and still make it. So what I would say is that let's keep the legacy. I know that Kualinteng Usiami, Uhepi, Ushapo, he's looking down on us, proud. And what I will say is Motoako flag and SA hip hop will always keep the flag up high and make sure that South Africa is okay. Thank you so much. Rale bo ga kgaitsa diake.